hey lovies welcome back to another video and on today's video i'm going to be sharing with you this authentic nigerian jollof moi moi if you're interested in watching do stay tuned let me take you through all the preparation process so guys let's get started so to make our moi moi i'm going to be using black eyed beans which i'm going to be pouring in some water into the beans and allow it to sit for about five to ten minutes and after 10 minutes here, I'm going to transfer some of the beans into the blender, which I'm going to be adding just a little amount of the beans. And I will fill it up with some water in my blender. And I'm going to be using the pause button, which I'm just going to crush it for just about a second for 10 to 12 times. And after that, I'm going to be transferring this into a bowl to sieve off the shaft from the beans. So guys, if you want a full detailed recipe on how to wash these beans, a full detailed method, I'm going to be putting the link to the video on the comment section and on the description box. So you can watch my quick 3 minute video on how to wash your black eyed beans. So you can see right here, I will keep on putting water in the bowl so the shaft of the beans will go off. Which is a very quick and simple method for you to wash your black eyed beans. So at this moment, my beans is clean. I'll pour in some water and allow it to sit for about an hour to soften it up. So guys, right here, I have some three long sweet chili peppers, two onion, two scotch bonnet pepper that I'm going to be using for this recipe. I have some shrimps, crawfish, and some vegetable oil, which I'm going to be using. I have my stock cubes, which you can go ahead and use any one of your choice. I have some curry powder and right here I have some smoked fish which I'm going to be using for my filling and some egg so I'll go ahead and wash my peppers and onion and transfer them into my blender and blend this into a very smooth paste I'll add in the crayfish into the blended peppers and blend also So after blending, I will put in my pot in the fire and I'll go ahead and add in my oil. So for this moi moi recipe, I'm going to be stewing my tomato. So I'm going to be making it into a jollof sauce, which is going to make this moi moi unique and authentic. Like I bet you you're going to enjoy this recipe if you should try this method. So I'm going to make sure that my peppers get cooked until it comes out dry from all the water in it. So right now, I'll start by adding in my seasoned cubes. I'll add in some curry powder, some garlic powder, and I'll go ahead and stir this and allow it to keep on cooking until it dries up completely. So right now I'll add in some salt and I'll cover and allow it to keep on cooking. So at this moment, my peppers is well cooked. I will set it aside and start adding in my beans into the blender. I will add in some water and blend this into a very, very smooth paste. So guys, while blending, if you like, you can go ahead and start adding in your sauce into the blended um, beans so it will mix up. Or if you like, you can just leave it and at the end of the day, you'll see what I'm going to be doing. So this is another option for you to mix it up together with the blended beans. So when I'm done blending all the beans, I will get in my eggs and start chopping them. Wish you are free to use any fillings of your choice. Right now, I'll go ahead and chop part of the shrimp into a very tiny bit, which I'm going to be using to mix my um, beans. So 
So after chopping the shrimp into a very tiny bit, I will go ahead right now and add in my pepper, my pepper sauce into the blended beans and I will add in the chopped shrimp also. I will mix this up together so it will all combine. So after mixing, at this moment, you want to make sure you go ahead and taste for salt and season if it's okay. If it's not, so you can add it up at this moment. So guys, thank you very much for clicking on this video. If it's your first time here, you're welcome to Lydia Isaac TV. My name is Lydia. Please, if you do find this recipe helpful at the end of the day, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also, do drop a comment on the comment section regarding anything you would like me to put you through on this recipe so i'm going to add in more water and stir so guys you can see the consistency of the beans so right now i'm going to be greasing my pan which i'm going to be using to steam this um this beans paste so guys i'm using a plastic one you can go ahead and use any any bowl of your choice so I'll go ahead and start filling in my bowl, which I'm not going to fill it up to the top because this is going to rise up while steaming in the fire. So guys, right now I will start putting in the fillings on the, on the moi moi paste. Which, as I said earlier, you are free to use any filling of your choice. I will add in the eggs. And I will also go ahead and add in my smoked fish. And I will add in some red bell peppers just to give it some colors and some nice presenting view. I will go ahead and cover this up. So right now, I will get my pot and place in some foil paper at the bottom, which is going to prevent the plastic from getting burnt in case my water gets to dry up from the pot. And I'll add in just a very little amount of water because we're going to be steaming these beans here. We're not boiling it. So I will transfer in all my uh, beans and I'll put this in the fire and cover it up with the pot cover. So if you're using the cover like mine, you're going to make sure that you get a foil paper and use it to cover it up to trap all the steam coming out from the pot so it will cook quickly. Else the steam is going to be coming out and your beans is not going to get enough steam to cook. So this is some minutes later, I'm going to add in more water. So you have to make sure that you keep on adding in water as you go. Like about every five minutes, you have to make sure you check your pot five to 10 minutes to see if there is more water for it to cook. So guys, I'm going to be allowing mine to cook for about 40 to 50 minutes, depending on how big your bowl is. So I allowed mine to cook for an hour because the bottom bowl is very, very big. And at the end of the day, my delicious moi moi is ready. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you've not yet done so. And click on that bell icon so you never miss any delicious recipe from this channel. So guys, see you on my next video. Bye-bye.